Hey there guys, Mark here from Soulfly Concepts and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at Modern Converter X's tools. Two of them to be exact. We're going to be looking at Draw Call Minimization and Generate LODs. Stay tuned. So this fire truck model was downloaded from uh, SketchUp's 3D Warehouse. 3D Warehouse is a wonderful little tool. The problem with 3D Warehouse models is they are made for SketchUp. They are literally optimized for SketchUp. They're not made for the world of Flight Sim in any way, shape, or form. Now, some people do make them with Flight Sim in mind. Some people make them with other games in mind. But if we just have a look at the textures here, we can see we've got colors. And we've got one, two, three textures. Colors and three textures. Four colors, three textures. Is that right? Yeah. And... For Flight Sim, uh, for FS9, that will be absolutely fine. Nothing wrong with colours. FS9 doesn't mind colours. It prefers them over textures, probably. But FSX doesn't like material colours, like, especially the regular version of FSX. If you have acceleration, then it's absolutely fine with it. But regular FSX, oh no, not a fan. So, what we need to do is we need to get rid of those colours, and we also need to minimise how many textures we have. We have three textures, and two of them are the same. So, just click on our material editor, right, let's go to the textures, you can see we've got three textures. These two are exactly the same, no, they're just stretched differently. What we want to do now is click on draw calls at the bottom here. So at the top we want to designate how big we want Model Converter X to make our texture or textures, depending. Usually when you minimize the draw calls, Model Converter X will take care of everything. It will try and minimize the number of textures as best it can. And any material colors like we have here um, will all be placed into a texture file. So instead of it being a color, it will turn into a texture. So in this case, we've got maximum texture size of 2048 by 2048. You can change this in the drop down. Don't go any bigger than 4096 because no sim out there can handle it. Okay, add border. We'll go for two pixels because I'd like a little border around the edge of mine. And we've got include repeating textures. There aren't any in here, so we don't need to uncheck that if we don't want to. But let's click on predict. Now, after the prediction has been completed, um, what we'll have are a set of results. So, first we have before. Now, the before result is everything you see now. We haven't minimized anything yet. This is what the model currently has. It has four colors, three textures, and eight draw calls. Okay. After we minimize, if we click on this button here, after we'll have zero colors, one texture, and three draw calls. So there's a bit of improvement there. Let's click on minimize. Okay. So the results have disappeared from the box, and we can see down the bottom it says loaded texture. That means it's saved and it's ready to go on. Go back to your textures and save. This means when you come to export, it will save the model with that texture sheet and nothing else. Okay, you have now successfully minimized the draw calls in your model. What you want to do now is you want to minimize that polygon count because 42,500, well, 42,455 is way too many. Way, way, way too many for such a small object. Keeping in mind, this thing will sit happily inside the shadow of a terminal. It's too small. Too small. No, no. What you want to do is you want to click on this little thing here called Generate LODs. And inside here you'll have your current LODs dialog. Um, in here you want to make sure everything's in the right kind of place. Now there's only one LOD in here, which is LOD 100. Let's change that, shall we? Let's change it to LOD 400. Okay, now if your model disappears like it has here, you can either A, click on that, or B, just go into your LODs and select 400 and it will happily do that for you. Right, so what's, what's coming next is our generation of LODs. Now we've downloaded this model from the SketchUp warehouse, so we don't have any other versions of it. We can edit it in SketchUp if we like, but we have no other versions to play with. 
So what we need is model converter x to generate the LODs for us. If we have a look at the top here, we say from LOD 400 to LOD whatever, and we have vertex clustering. That means it can generate its own LODs. And down here we have our options for the vertex clustering. Yeah, right, let's say LOD 300. I want to create LOD 300. The only thing you need to change is the grid size, because if you change the area weights and things like that, it doesn't really affect much. But yeah, the grid size is something you want to change. I like to put it down to 0 0.1 until I need to move it up higher. So 0 0.1 meter grid. If we click on calculate, it will generate its own LODs. So we can see we've gone from 42,455 polygons down to 1,021. Now you can't really see all that much difference. So yeah, I'm happy with that. If we want to keep creating LODs, we can do. Let's just say LOD 300 down to 200, leave this the same, and click on calculate. Right now let's just say LOD 200 down to 100. Click on calculate. Right now we're starting to get small here. We haven't seen that as as big as of a jump now. So we've gone from 1021 to 919, so it's only dropped down by 102. And it's dropped down by even less there. So let's make our grid bigger. Let's say 0 0.2. And let's go from LOD 100 down to, let's say, 80. And calculate. Very nice. Just say 0 0.3. 80 to 70. Right, 0 0.4. 70 to 60. Calculate. Oh, we're dropping well now, aren't we? 60 to 50. 0 0.5 calculate perfect right I'm not going to go any lower than that because that's already yeah yeah that, that looks fine that, that looks fine now do we really need LOD 400 at 42,455 polygons I don't think we do click on remove and that will get rid of that LOD we now have a perfectly viable model, LOD 300 all the way down to LOD 50. Now this will change as you get further and further away. You shouldn't notice too much detail disappear. And once you get to LOD 50, it should be roughly about there. That should be about that big on the screen, so you're not even going to notice the lack of detail. So yeah, that is how you generate your own LODs using a model that's not yours. That's also how you minimize the draw calls and create one texture for a model that's not yours. Um, if this is something that you've liked, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to, leave a comment below. I do try and read them all, and anything that needs to be replied to, I do try and reply. So if you ask a question, for example. Um, if you want to, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. You can become one of my long-term subscription buddies. Yeah, you can. Hey guys, me again. So, before I go, I just want to say one quick thing. Uh, Torfly Concepts are currently looking for developers to join our team. Uh, there is a link in the description of this video with an application form. If you are interested in being part of Torfly Concepts, whether that be for freeware or payware, um, scenery or aircraft, whatever it might be, by all means, fill that application form out online. There is a short NDA in there as well, just in case. And um, yeah, look forward to hearing from you.